we're making my cheesy, soft, and delicious gluten-free version of the famous Olive Garden breadsticks. They do not require yeast, rolling, or rising, and can be made with a variety of flours. I'm showing you how to make them low carb and high protein with almond flour. Hello, my name is Nicole Bonilla, and if you love healthier recipes made with all natural ingredients, then you are in the right place. Now, since these breadsticks are made with almond flour and do not have any gluten in them, we need to give them something that's gonna help bind them together. So we are going to use cheese. And my favorite is to use Monterey Jack, but you could also use mozzarella or even cheddar cheese. And to make them extra soft and moist and to add some protein, we're going to use some Greek yogurt. But you could also use some whipped cottage cheese or you could also use sour cream or some cream cheese, but they won't have quite as much protein. So in a microwave safe bowl, I've added two cups of shredded Monterey Jack cheese. Now you're welcome to jot down these ingredients as we go along, or you can click on the link in the video description below, and that will take you to the recipe on my website with all the details. And then we're gonna add a fourth a cup of Greek yogurt. Now we want to melt these down slightly so that they are really easy to mix with our other ingredients. So I'm just gonna put this into my microwave for about 25 seconds. So after 25 seconds, you can see how the cheese has started to melt. So I'm just gonna take a fork and just real quickly blend these together. Now we want to add two eggs, but if we take them right out of the fridge when they're cold and then put them in with this cheese mixture, it'll start to harden up our cheese more than we'd like it to be. So we want our eggs to be at least room temperature. So all I did was take two eggs out of my fridge and then put them into this jar of some really warm water. And then I just let them sit for about five to 10 minutes. So now they are room temperature and I can break them right into the cheese mixture. Or if you have the time, you can let them sit out on your counter and come to room temperature naturally. And then I'm just gonna mix these together with my fork. So now we have the smooth, eggy cheese mixture. And we'll set this aside. Now in a large mixing bowl, we'll want to add our dry ingredients, which includes two cups of almond flour. Now you can use a variety of gluten-free flours with this recipe. So just click on that recipe link in the video to see all the details. Next, we're gonna add three tablespoons of some grated Parmesan cheese, just for more of that Italian flavor. And then we're gonna add two teaspoons of Italian seasoning, two teaspoons of garlic powder, and a fourth a teaspoon of salt, and one teaspoon of baking powder. And then I'm just gonna sift these together with a fork and give it a good shake. So now we can pour in our wet mixture, and then we just start stirring them together with our spatula. And I find it works best to just kind of spin my bowl as I mash all those ingredients together. Mm, it's definitely starting to smell Italian in here. And once you have all the flour incorporated from the bottom of your bowl, you're gonna have this really fluffy and just slightly sticky dough. And you'll know it's just right when it's just barely sticking to your fingertips. Now to form our breadsticks, I've just taken my cookie sheet and lined it with a sheet of parchment paper. And that just makes cleanup really easy. Now because this dough was just sticky enough to stick to our fingers, we want to grease our hands with some oil so that we can handle the dough. So I'm just gonna pour some oil right into my hand and just rub them all together. And then we scrape out about three tablespoons of dough. Now you'll first want to form it into a ball in your hand. And then once you kind of have it smoothed out, now you can start rolling it back and forth to form your breadstick. You're basically just creating a worm. <laughs> and then as soon as we have our breadstick shape, we can go ahead and lay it onto our baking sheet. Now you can go through and just kind of shape it once it's on your sheet to make sure it's nice and even. Now these are gonna spread and puff up a bit so you can make them a little more slender than what you want your final breadstick to be. And you can also decide if you want really long breadsticks or if you want to have shorter ones. Now, another thing I love about this dough is that you can literally shape it to any shape that you like. So I'm gonna go ahead and just make a nice little round roll shape so that you can see how that turns out. So they're all gonna taste delicious. Well, these look great, but we have one more step that's gonna make these look like they came right out of a bakery, and that's to give them an egg wash. So I took one egg and then separated the yolk from the white and then put it into this little bowl. And then I'll just take my pastry brush and then brush that egg white right on top of the breadstick and you'll want to be generous with it, and if you can, get it on both sides of the breadstick. And this is gonna give it the really beautiful golden exterior and even more flavor. Well, these are ready to go into a 350 degree oven for about 16 to 20 minutes, and you'll want to start checking on them at 16 minutes and then pull them out as soon as they have a nice golden crust on top. Well, here are our golden breadsticks right out of the oven, and they look and smell unbelievable. Now our final touch is to brush on a little bit of butter on top of each of the sticks. So I'm just using a pastry brush and just brushing it right on. And this will give them that beautiful shine as well as some incredible flavor. Look at that nice soft crumb. And you see how they're nice and spongy inside? That tastes delicious. 
Now, even though these are gluten-free, you will not be compromising on incredible Italian flavor. As soon as you bite into that soft, spongy texture, you get that depth of flavor coming from the almond flour, and then you get the delicious cheese and the Parmesan cheese, and then that Italian and garlic flavoring is so good. And I love that they're made with clean, natural ingredients, which means I'm gonna feel just as good even after I eat it. And I want you to know that I believe in you and your ability to make those healthy foods that are gonna make you feel fantastic from the inside out. And I'm here to support you in any way that I can. Well, thank you so much for hanging out with me today in my kitchen. And I've included a link to the full recipe and it's in the video description below, which takes you to my website, gentletummy.com. And I also invite you to like and subscribe to my channel. And if you know someone else who you think would love this recipe, please share this video with them. And I cannot wait to have you join me again in my kitchen.